All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. Today we'll be doing our second of three Messiah Complex uh, playthroughs. Um, this way you get a good idea of everything in the box in action, um, which I think is a lot of fun. So, um, I think even, well, I'm trying to think. Did I, I think I did two playthroughs for, did I do two for Annihilation? I think that's just the way to go about it. I think maybe in the past, like a long time ago, I might have just done like, one playthrough for a small box or something. Um, but with the, the other boxes, I think we're not getting big ones anymore. So we'll just do as much of everything as we can. I think that's the best way to showcase how the cards work. Um, anyway, this is our second one. I have not tried Lady Deathstrike yet, so this will be fun. And I have not played with Prey yet, so this will this will be interesting. So Lady Deathstrike our mastermind here. Lady D with her big fingers. It's terrifying. She always leaves the Reavers, which is who we're going to be using today. Her mass strike is if she's preying on a player, finish the prey. Otherwise, we're going to prey on the uh, on the fewest uh, yellow. And then I'll finish the prey. That player gains two wounds, and each other player discards two cards. In a one-player game, it's one wound and discard one card. To give context to prey, so prey typically is triggered by uh, the having the fewer of something. And... In this particular case, for solo, you always are the one that has the fewest of that. So you're getting preyed on. So pray, and, and if I get stuff wrong, I, I apologize, but uh, I'm going to do my best to just try to make sure I do this correctly because it's a, definitely a different kind of deal. So in this case, you put that villain in front of the player, and that's who they're preying on after they enter the sewer. So if, if for some reason it's stacked, a villain comes out with prey, it will push the thing. That person's escaping, and then that person's coming down to prey. Um, if no player defeats the villain by the end of the uh, of the preyed on player's turn, use the villain's finish the prey ability against that player. Then the villain to the city in the in the sewers. And then we do the finish the prey after that player draws a new hand. So in her particular case, if she's praying um, after the strike, we're gonna finish the we're gonna wait. If I can kill her, then I can avoid the finish the prey part. However. If I can't, I get the finish the prey part and she goes back. If a strike comes out, she comes out the prey. If another strike comes out because it's advanced solo, it's going to play another card. She'll finish the prey. Um, wait, if she's preying on a player, finish the prey. So then she'll go back. And then, and then, and that's how we do it. And like I mentioned in the last video, I didn't show the epic sides. So this is a good opportunity to show the epic side. So epic exodus was like a problem. <laughs> So Epic Lady Deathstrike, she's 11, so she's 8 normally, she's 11. Um, her Master Strike is if she's preying on a player, uh, finish the prey, then whether she was preying or not, prey on the fewest yellow, finish the prey, that player gains a wound on the top and bottom of their deck. Each of the player discards down to 3 cards, and one player instead gains a wound and discards 2. Oh, discards, wait. Yeah, discards 2 cards. So I think... Yeah, instead of discard down to three. <laughs> so anyway, we're not going to deal with that. The henchman group is going to be uh, the Sentinel Squad 1. And um, the heroes we're using today are going to be... Um, I don't know who they are. Uh, Siren, M, and someone else, obviously. Oh, Warpath. That's right. All right, so let's see. Oh, I can get to the thing, the scheme. Uh, higher singularity investigations two dot dot dot. It's nine twists. Twists one through four. If there are any singularity investigation investigators in the city, stack the twist next to the mastermind as a dark discovery. Whether you did that or not, investigate the bystander stack for a card that has an uh, and have it enter the city as a singularity investigator villain. It has six attack and fight. Rescue this bystander. Then K one of heroes and investigate your deck for a card with a crude icon. On twist five, we're going to transform. This is to a random unveiled scheme and do its twist. So like I did last time, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take what's the remaining unveiled ones we've been used, shuffle them up and pull one, and that's what we're gonna be using for the other half of the game. Which mechanically, this it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've said it before, but transforming schemes, transform is my favorite keyword in all of legendary. And the transforming schemes were always very fun because it's like you kind of, you know, depending on what it is, you gotta kind of change your strategy. This throws it a whole other level because you've got to, like, you have no idea what you're dealing with <laughs> on the second thing. So let's go ahead and play. We've got a scheme twist. So 
It's not going to stack next to the mastermind, but we're going to investigate the villain deck or the uh, bystander stack for bystander. Um, so we're going to get uh, alligator uh, trapper, and they are six attack. And we've played a card. We've played a card. So let's put something on the bottom. Um, let's see. Let's put this on the bottom for now. All right. So we have four and two. So let's grab Hypnotic Coal, which is going to be Sire in here. Two attack. If I play a red hero, I can shatter each hero currently in the HQ whose printed cost is two, four, six, and or eight. So um, basically shattering heroes in the in the hero deck, or in the, in the, in the city, or in the HQ, sorry, uh, have their cost. So anyway, pretty straightforward. We have Skullbuster. Ambush. Prey on uh, the fewest blue. Skullbuster captures one bystander from the bystander stack and two bystanders from that player's victory pile of their choice. Uh, finish the prey KO the captured bystanders. Each player discards a card. So he's going to come out. He's going to do this. He's going to capture a bystander, and then I've got to deal with him. But unfortunately, I don't have anything to deal with him. So we're not really going to be able to do anything. We're going to get another hypnotic Coal. And then um, his effect's going to resolve. Oh, yeah, we have to do this first. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we're going to, he's going to KO this. We're going to put this back and we have to discard a card. And in this case, it will be this. All right. Another Skullbuster. So he's going to come out. He's going to prey on me. Um, we've got four recruit here. Let's go ahead and grab a... Uh, Let's grab a echolocation, one attack, choose a hero class, investigate for a card of that hero class. So you choose red, blue, green, yellow, whatever. And then we'll get a sidekick. It's going to get us Darwin, a new uh, sidekick here. He's X, uh, X Factor. Um, you, the most recent card you played this turn, uh, you get plus two attack or plus two recruit, depending on what that is. If you play both, you get both. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to get KO'd. He's going to come back out, and then we're going to have to discard a card. And in this case, they really can't do a whole lot. So let's discard this, and we'll play another card from the villain deck. So Scheme is going to come out. This will come here. This will stack next to them as a dark discovery. And then whether we did that or not, we're going to investigate for uh, Singularity. So that's going to come out. Um, we're going to put this on the bottom. And then we've got six here. This is kind of getting a little problematic. Uh, we got to put something on the bottom here. So let's throw that to the bottom. All right. Maybe we can actually make a play here or something. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to recruit this, which is Uncover Family Secrets. To recruit, when recruited, clone if I play red. So I did. And then it says investigate for a card that costs three. So we're going to clone, um, clone her. There it is. All right. Oops. And unfortunately, we can't really fight anything this turn, so we're going to have to end the turn on that. Um, ah, come on, give me some attack or something. i got to kill something now. Okay. We can maybe do something. Master Strike. So she's going to prey on me. Um, and then we're going to do the Master Strike. So I'm going to discard a card and take a wound. Let me see. We'll discard this. I'll take the wound. We'll do another card. Master Strike. <laughs> she's going to prey on me again. Play another card for the villain deck. It's going to be Donald Pierce. Ambush. Prey on the few is black. Okay. So I've got, why is this happening to me? All right. So first and foremost, we're going to do this, investigate for a card that costs three, which we probably won't have one. I'm going to put this on the bottom and put this on top. I'm going to choose a hero class, which is going to be yellow. Investigate for a card of that hero class. So I get this one. We're going to put this back. 
Man, I gotta clear stuff out. Okay. Um, trying to think here. If I do this, I can shatter everybody and make them easier to recruit. So let's do this. We're gonna shatter. Uh, each hero in the HQ gets shattered. So this is gonna cost three. This is gonna cost two. Cost two. Cost three. Cost one. Because if it's odd, you're gonna shatter. When you shatter half, you round up. And then we're gonna play this, and so I'll get attack because that's the most recent card I played. So I have seven attack here. Let's take out one of these. Um, so we get to KO one of our heroes. We get to uh, investigate for a card with the recruit icon, which we have, and then, um, yeah, and then for rescuing the bystander, you can KO uh, a hero or a hero from your discard pile. So let's KO this. Um, okay, so that's taken care of. I'm just going to have to deal with the prey here. Uh, let's see. So then I have three recruit. So I'm going to get this for one, which is another echolocation. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if that was like the best thing to do, but it's fine. So let's draw a new hand. We're going to have to finish the prey here. So we're going to take a wound and discard a card. And then we're going to have to KO that, uh, one of that player's non-gray heroes. So I don't have any right now. So we avoid that from there. And then we can play the next card for the villain deck. Which is going to be a scheme twist. So again, this will go next to here because there is one of these guys out. We're going to bring that out. It'll be six. Let's put something on the bottom. This is like really rough because they're all strong and all I have is recruit. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's grab... Um, if you were to gain a wound... Let's grab uh, three sisters combined. Uh, one recruited. Uh, if I have green, I can clone it, which I don't. I get to draw a card. If I have three threes, protect formation, I get two attack. And then with my two recruit, we'll grab Grim Tracker. Choose a, a number one or more. Investigate for a card of that cost. Um, should be pretty straightforward. All right. Stuff's going to start escaping. It's like they're all so strong and I have like nothing to shatter. <laughs> all right. All right, so this is going to escape. We're going to have to uh, KO a hero. So let's get rid of this. Ambush, uh, Pew is green, and then we finish the prey. That player puts a wound on top of their deck. Okay, maybe we can kill him before we have to worry about that. So first off, let's go ahead and play this. We'll investigate for a card that costs three. Uh, we don't have one. We're going to put this. We're going to put it back like this. We're going to choose a hero class, which is going to be red, to investigate for, which we have. We're going to put this back. We've got, we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to choose red. I didn't have it this time. So there's, we're going to do this. Everybody cost uh, half to recruit. Oh, baby. Okay. So we have five attack. We're going to take him out, which uh, reveal the top card of your deck, KO it or draw it. So we're going to take him out with our attack. We're going to reveal it, KO it. We have four recruit, but we've shattered everybody. We've shattered the uh, HQ. So this is going to cost me four to recruit. Superhuman senses. So we have uh, three attack. It's war pass rare. Whenever you reveal, look at any number of cards this turn, you get plus one attack. Just drawing a discarding card from that that your deck doesn't count. And then choose one number, investigate for a card of that cost. So every time we investigate, we're going to be able to basically get attack. Yeah. So that's going to be really good. Oh, I need this dangerous maneuver card. Okay. We've got Bone Breaker. He's going to hit me again. So let's see what we got here. So let's choose a number to investigate for. I'm going to just say three. It's three. Oh, it's too many cards. Um, neither of them are at this point. It doesn't really matter. So there's one, two attack, and four recruit. Let's grab Dangerous Maneuver for two. Real top card of your deck. Cause zero, you may KO it. And if I attack a formation, two, two, five, you get to, uh, I get plus three attack. And then I still have two recruit left. So I guess I'll get a sidekick. We're going to end the turn. Um, we're going to, after I draw my hand, we're going to finish the prey, and then I'm going to get a wound on top of my deck. I'm not sure that these heroes synergize very well. Not like the last game. <laughs> so, 
that is becoming a little difficult to deal with. All right, we got a scheme twist. So we're going to put that there. And that's tween twist number four. This is going to come out, so this is going to escape. Oh, and it's an Amy. Ugh. I'm sure the lady that this is based on is a very nice woman, but her one thing is not pleasant to deal with. Okay, let's KO this. And then we have to put something on the bottom. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can make some dent in those shenanigans here. Wait, I have too many cards. I think this is what I drew last, so this will have to go here. Okay. All right. So we're going to investigate for a three. And uh, we don't have it. That's okay. We're going to... Actually, I'm going to put both those on the bottom. So put those on the bottom. We're going to do this to draw a card. That doesn't really get us anything. We're going to do this. We can shatter the HQ. Um... So everything is cheaper now. So let's go ahead and let's get this for two, which is uh, interweaving powers when recruited. Uh, X, X, four, uh, X fact, I can clone it. And then if I have tactical formation three, 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 I get plus two at three attack. So we're going to get one of those or the other one at least, uh, wherever it is. There we go. Um, I still have three recruit left. Let's get... Um, Sisters combined, so another one of these, and we did play Green Hero this time, so we are going to be able to clone that. Then we have two attack to do nothing. So we are going to end the turn. It looks like, I mean, most of these guys, I don't think these Reavers have a like a like an escape ability, which we're already getting punished for. Thing with the same way. So this is scheme twist number five. So now we're going to have to uh, flip and do its effect. So of the ones, what did I do last time? I did open future, future rifts. We're going to remove that one. Let's shuffle these up. Okay. So control the mutant messiah. This is our new scheme. When revealed, uh, twist or stack next to mass Mar manipulation, shuffle an extra random hero into a face down mutant messiah stack add this twist to the mutant okay blah, 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 blah. so we need a shuffle of extra hero into a face down mutant messiah stack so let's just grab um a random hero you say all right let's just do this i'm grabbing x x force wolverine from dark city so here's our extra stack we're going to shuffle it up add this twist next to the mutant manipulate or the manipulations, then investigate the mutant messiah stack for a card instead of the side. This turn, you may gain. Um, you may gain the top card of your deck of of your wait sorry. This turn you may gain that card to the top card of your deck by spending recruit equal to its cost plus one for each manipulation. If you don't, then put that card into a fallen messiah stack. Next to the scheme, evil wins when there are three cards in the Fallen Messiah stack. So, this is going to be our... I'm going to move those up there. This is going to be here. We have four. So, it's going to be four plus one to recruit. We're going to investigate. It's going to be eight to, to do either of these. So, we're going to put this one on top, I guess. Put this one on bottom. Uh, it's going to cost us eight to recruit that. And we have to do it by... Wait. This turn, I may gain it. Okay. So let's put something on the bottom. I don't I don't think we're winning this one. We're gonna have to pack it up, boys. <laughs> Alright, first off, we're gonna do this and draw two. Uh, there's no way we're gonna get eight recruit. Um I'm gonna reveal the top card of my deck. It costs zero, you might KO it, but it doesn't. So that's gonna be that. I'm gonna investigate for a card that costs one or more. I choose a number, I'm gonna choose seven. So we're going to get this one. I'm going to put this back. Uh, we're going to play this whenever you reveal. Look at any number of cards this turn. You get plus one attack. Choose a number between one or, uh, one or more. Investigate for a card that costs. I'm going to choose three. So I, I looked at two cards. I'm going to get this one. I'll put this back. So I have five attack on him. I'm going to add two more to that. Um, 
We're going to do this investigate for a card that costs three. Oops. I didn't have any this time, but I still looked at more cards. There's four there. On him now. Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's four. So we have one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve attack. Oh, thank the Lord. We have twelve attack. We can clear some stuff out of the city. We have four recruit, and I don't think this isn't. Oh, in the HQ. Okay, the shattering of the stuff in the HQ won't matter. So I have, uh, I have 1, 3, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 attack. So I can I can take out two of these guys and, and kind of clean my deck up a bit. And re So let's do that. So let's take out this one first. This is going to be uh, KO Wound. When I do that, I can KO one of my heroes, and then I can investigate for a card with a recruit icon. Neither of these have it. And then we're going to do it again on this one. It's going to come back as a 3 attack villain. We're going to KO one of our heroes, and we're going to recruit, recruit, look for something with a recruit icon, which we have. So we're going to have that. So now we have three, uh, four, five recruit total, and everybody's half. So with our five recruit, let's grab uh, three octave uh, Ar Ar Arpagello, Arpagello. I don't know how you say that. Four attack, attack information 246, shatter all villains, which would have been coming handy earlier. And then we use the last two to grab this, and we can end the turn. Okay, that was quite productive. I don't feel so bad anymore. Now, there's still a lot to deal with, however, but, um, oh, and then that's going to go into a Fallen Messiah stack. So I got to put that there. And when there are three of those, uh, GG's. So this is in the Fallen Messiah stack. So I'm going to put that there. All right, next card. Oh, Sentinel Squad 1, Ambush. If there are no Sentinel Squads in the city, clone. So there aren't any, so we're going to have to do that. So going to push Skullbuster out, so we're going to KO something. So he's out. I move these down. I have to KO something here. Let's get rid of this. Okay. All right, we're going to turn this around. I'm, I, I can feel it. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to choose red. Um, I didn't have any. We're going to put that on the bottom. We're going to put this back on top. I'm going to do this again and choose green. So we've got one there. Then, fortunately, I won't be able to do anything. So we're going to do this and draw our card. Okay. All right. So we really can't do a whole lot here. We've got five attack here. So let's go ahead and kill this for three. We'll KO one of our heroes. We'll kill this for two. Um, if there are no other Sentinel squad uh, in the city, KO one of your heroes and put this on the bottom of the deck. There is, so we won't have to do that. Uh, we don't do that effect. Then with my two recruit, I'll get another uh, uh, Grim Tracker, and then one the turn. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Scheme Twist. So we're going to stack this here. We're going to investigate. They're both four. Put this on the bottom. Put this here. So we're going to have to spend seven recruit. No, I'm sorry. Nine recruit to get him if we want him, which is not going to happen. So we're going to play this. We're going to uh, look for a card, so let's just say um, four. So we're going to get this for four. We're going to put this back. So we've got two attack for uh, looking we're looking at a revealing card. So there's two there. Um, let's see. We're going to do this. Investigate for a card that costs three, which we have. So we're going to do that. So we're going to put this back. It's going to give us four more, or two more, I'm sorry. Trying to think about the best way to approach this. We're going to do this uh, to draw. Wait, do I have tactical formation? I do. I've got three, three, three. So we're going to get two attack off of her. You have to draw a card. We're going to do it again. I get to draw a card and we'll get the attack from her. So there's two, two, and this. Um, okay, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out. We're going to play this. We're going to reveal the top card of the deck. We're going to KO it. Um, do I have two, two, and five? I don't, I don't, I don't. We're going to do this again. Let's talk part of the deck. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to choose, play this. I'm going to choose six to investigate for a card that costs six. Okay, everything's working now. I got that. This bumps up two more. All right, things are happening. <laughs> so there's one recruit. There is nine, ten. Oh, there's three recruit. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, they're all shattered. 
21, 22, and then I have three, I have four threes, so I get 20, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, we got a lot of stuff going on here, oh, buddy, okay, hold on, so this is what we're working with, we have three recruit, we're good on that, everybody costs half, all villains, half, now, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 25 attack, so, we're going to hit Lady Death Strike once. If Lady Death Strike was not preying on a player, each of the player reveals her hand. She preys on the on uh, one hero that has the fewest number of heroes. So that would be me. And then I'm going to hit her again. So this is, if Lady if this is not the final tactic, and if Lady Death Strike was not preying on a player, KO up to two of your heroes, rescue four bystanders, and shuffle this back in. So if it's not the final tactic, which it isn't, and if she was not praying, then we do the effect. But she goes back. After I after I take a tactic, yeah, after I take a tactic, she should go back because I've defeated her. And then we're going to hit her again. Each of the villain praying on a player finishes a prey. After those have en have all entered the city, then each player in the si each villain in the city uh, with a prey ability ambush does the ambush starting with the sewers. Wait, hold on. Each villain that's preying on a player finishes the prey. After those have all entered the city, then each villain in the city with a prey ambush does that ambush starting from the stewards. So he's going to prey on me. and he's gonna, They're going to both prey on me, which is fine. I only have one attack anyway. I've take, taken all our tactics. So these are going to prey on me. We're just going to set them there. I still have one attack left, so we're going to take out the Sentinel squad because uh, he's only one because we shattered. If there are no other ones in the city, KO one of your heroes. And then put him on the bottom of the villain deck. All right. And then we have... They're going to screw me over. So we actually may win this game after all because we've taken almost all the tactics. And then now we have um, three recruit. And I'll get another one of these uh, three octave cards and we're gonna do that all right holy cow that was a huge thing so we know we're gonna take that again so there's only one more left before the game ends so we have to hopefully win and I don't think this turn's gonna work because I'm gonna lose two cards or I'm gonna lose some stuff I hope I played all this right there's just a lot going on here <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping I played everything correctly if I didn't I'm sure somebody let me know all right, so they're going to finish the prey. So first it was uh, Bone Breaker. Uh, that player, so the, uh, finish the prey, that player gains a wound on top of their deck. So that'll be this. And then it'll be uh, Donald Pierce, Kale, uh, one of the player's non-gray heroes. So unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of someone here. And it's going to have to be uh, this one. All right, play another card from the villain deck. Scheme Twist. Okay, so I think the game is over. We're going to have to do this. We're going to do this one, so it would have cost us eight. If we can recruit it, we're good, but I don't think we'll be able to. It's going to have to cost us eight, so we have to win the game this turn, which won't be very likely. Yeah, because this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then everybody shattered here. Not everybody, and it's two, four, and six. Oh, crap. It doesn't shatter everybody. It only shatters two, four, and sixes. Oh, yeah, there are sixes. I got them. It's okay. So none of the threes. But I don't know if I used Shatter on a three. If I used Shatter on a three and it counted for two, then I did something wrong. But so if that happened, I just realized it's okay, though. Um, I'm going to kill him, reveal a top card of your deck, uh, draw it or KO it. And we know it's a wound, unfortunately. And we're going to have to end the turn. And on the end of the turn, when there are three in the Fallen Messiah stack, the game is over and evil wins. So you may kill one of your heroes if you have a yellow hair. Okay, so we almost won. And, and considering how it was going, I was really, really worried. We, we weren't going to touch the mastermind. So sorry to pick up a bit. But um, yeah, so I don't know that the synergy here was probably the greatest. This Warpath rare really kind of is what turned it around. I'm excited to try him with another hero. Because um, like these tactical formations, the 2-2 two, two, and 5s, like I need 5s more prevalent to get this ability. So kind of awkward because she's going for even numbers. It's awkward because he needs fives, and then she's all threes. So it's like they didn't really work that well together, but all things considered, it ended up being still pretty good. So anyway, that's going to be playthrough for today. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If I, like I said, if I shattered something for for a three, an accident, my bad. You know, it happens. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys on Friday for the last playthrough. Bye-bye.